And please be seated. I don't know if you've caught on yet, but we're talking about prayer today. <laughs> Do you catch all that? What if prayer became the air that we breathe? What if we remember that we are desperate for God, that we're lost without God, and that we need prayer as something that draws us closer in? I love the question for today. Do we really know what we are praying? I think the other question with that is, do we really know why we are praying? How often do prayers become the things that we do rather than the things that we desire to do? The thing that brings us in closer relationship with God, the thing that draws us into God's presence and God's presence into our lives. How many times do we pray the Lord's Prayer and just recite the words? There's too many times that we go through the motions of things and forget what it's all about. There's a really cute cartoon from Family Circle, if anyone's ever read Family Circle cartoons, where the little, little boy's there and he's praying and he's reciting the alphabet. And the mom comes in and says, what are you doing? And he's like, well, I figured I'd give God all the letters and God could put them together in whatever way God wants to. <laughs> you know? And that's a cute story, but God really does want to hear our heart. It's not just something God's doing, but something we're participating in as well. So I want to bring you in this morning to the story of Mike. Mike is a guy just like many of us um, who has done the Lord's Prayer forever, but maybe didn't quite get it all uh, Get it all the way Jesus taught. So let's enter into Mike's story and his time of coming into prayer with God. Our Father, who is in heaven. Yes? Don't interrupt me. I'm praying. You called me. Called you? I didn't call you. I'm, I'm praying. Our Father... Who is in heaven? There, you did it again. Did what? Called me. You said, our Father who art in heaven. Here I am. Let's talk. But it didn't mean anything by it. I was just saying my prayers for the day. I always say the Lord's Prayer. It makes me feel good. All right. Go on. Hallowed be your name. Hold it. What do you mean by that? By what? By hallowed be your name. It means, it means your name is hallowed, you know, like hallowed out. Oh, so you think my name is emptied out? No, that, that's not what I mean. Look, I don't know what it means. How should I know? It's not important. It's just part of the prayer. By the way, what does it mean? <laughs> it means holy, set apart, honored, full of wonder. Makes sense. Okay, I'm going to keep going now if it's okay. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Do you really mean that? Sure, why not? Well, if you want it, what are you doing about it? Doing? Nothing, I guess. I just think it would be kind of neat if you got control of everything down here like you have up there. Okay. Let's talk about that. Have you given me the chance to get control of you? Well, I, I go to church. Yeah, that's not what I asked you. What about your temper? I was there when you threw your coworker under the bus and didn't own up to your part. And what about the time you canceled small group because there was a show on TV? <sighs> also, did you even see the angel tree? Hey, stop picking on me. I'm just as good as some of the rest of those people in church. Excuse me. I thought you were praying for my will to be done. If that's to happen, it'll have to start with the ones who are praying for it. Like you, for example. Oh, all right. I guess I have done some harm. Now that you mention it, I could probably name other times as well. So could I. Which means, you know... 
that it's a pattern we're talking about, not just a one-time blip. I get the idea. You know, speaking of my cycle of harm, I'd really like you to help me turn that around. Oh, good, me too. And thank you for finally asking. I'm good at that, you know. I just need the invitation. Now we're getting somewhere. Keep praying. Give us this day our daily bread. You need to cut down on the bread. You're getting a little doughy, if you know what I mean. You eat like I'm not gonna provide you, provide for you tomorrow. Hey, what is this? Criticize Mike Day? Here I was doing my religious duty, and all of a sudden you break in and remind me of all my problems. Praying is a dangerous thing. You could wind up changed. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. Keep praying. I'm interested in the next part of your prayer. Well, go on. I'm scared too. <laughs> scared of what? Of what you'll say. Try me and see. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. What about Anne? See, I knew it. I knew you'd bring her up. Lord, she lies about me. She spreads stories that all of our mission trips are just vacations. They're not vacations? Sarcasm. Great. I try to encourage others to go into all the world to serve and make disciples, and this is what I get. Okay, okay. I was just trying to prove you right. You're always saying God has a sense of humor. But seriously, what about your prayer? I didn't mean it. Well, at least you're honest. But it's not much fun carrying all that bitterness around, is it? No. But I'll feel better as soon as I prove her wrong and expose that gossip of hers. No, you probably won't. You'll probably feel worse. Revenge isn't sweet. It complicates things. Give it to me, and I'll deal with it. How do I do that? Forgive Anne. Then you'll know my forgiveness. Forgive her even if she hasn't asked for it. And sin will be Anne's problem and not yours. You will have settled your heart. You're right. You always are. And I want to be right with you. And I want to... I want to for, for I, I want to for, for. You know, one of the biggest problems with my children is that they talk about forgiveness. They joke about it. They even fake it. Would you like it if my forgiveness was just talk? Was it just a joke, or even worse, was fake? No. All right. I forgive her. Help her to find your way, Lord. She must be miserable too. She must be. Anyone who pulls the things she does must be out of it. Please, Lord, take care of her, too. Nice. There. Now, how do you feel? Better, I think. So when does the anger and pain go away? Give it time. And practice. And more time. I'll take care of it, I promise. But it will be a process. But the first step is the hardest, and you've just done that. And that's awesome. So let's keep on going. Oh, right. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Good. I will do just that. But I am going to need you to partner with me on this one. What do you mean by that? I need you to give me some room to work in and more to work with in you. That's why praying is so important. It's one of the spiritual disciplines, one of the ways we stay connected. There are lots of ways, like reading my word, receiving communion, fasting, setting time for devotions, coming together for worship. And Mike, I'm not talking about the Church of the Holy Comforter. These practices, these disciplines, are things you can do to make room in yourself to welcome in more of me, which helps us connect easier. And the stronger our connection is, the better I'll be able to reach you to deliver you from evil and steer you clear of it before you even get stuck in it. Wow. That was a lot of stuff. I don't know where to start. But you already have in praying my prayer for real and actually meaning it. Trust me and follow my plan and I'll do the work on your heart. Go ahead and finish your prayer. For yours is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Mike, do you know what would bring me glory? What would make me jump up and click my heels for joy? No, but I'd like to know. I could see now that if I stay in control, I won't be able to do anywhere near the good I could do with you. And worse, I could harm others, not just once, but repeatedly. I really want to be a better follower. You just answered the question. I did? Yep. The thing that would bring me glory and great joy is to have people like you truly doing all you can to follow me, letting me call you out when you're harming others, and letting me share my power with you, actually partnering together in this kingdom work. It really is amazing, and it will blow your mind away. So now what do you want to do? Well, maybe we should start by finding Anne. The end. 